You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Monday, June the 1st, 2020. The Red Sox and Indians played each other 6-4, the final score of this game. There was quite a bit of offense in this game as well. The Red Sox got 17 team hits. The Indians got 10 team hits. Colton Brewer got the win in this one. Oliver Perez got the loss, and Brandon Workman earned his 18th save of the season. The Rays and Twins played each other. Close game, 2-1 the final score. The Rays scored first in the fifth inning, but then the Twins put up two in the seventh, and that was all the Twins needed. They won by a run. The Twins got nine team hits in this one as compared to the Twins' six, but the Rays could not win. Tyler Clippard got the win. Charlie Morton got his fifth loss of the season, and Tyler Duffy earned his second save with the Twins. The Yankees and Mariners played each other 3-1 to one the final score of this game, relatively close, but the difference in this one was the Yankees getting two runs in the top of the second inning. Each team scored in the fourth inning, but the Mariners could not come back at any point past that. They didn't score at all throughout the rest of this game. The Yankees won by two runs. Garrett Cole got the win, you see Kikuchi got the loss, and Aroldis Chapman earned his 11th save of the season. NL Central matchup here. The Cubs beat the Reds by five runs, 8-3 to three, the final score. The Cubs scored more runs in the third inning than the Reds did in the entire game. Yu Darvish got the win, and Anthony Desclafani got the loss. Brew Crew and the Nats. They played each other. The Nationals scored 10 runs as compared to the Brewers scoring three, and that was the final score. Aaron Sanchez got the win, and Eric Lauer got the loss. AL West Baseball here. The Angels played the Rangers, and the Angels won. Final score of this game, 5-2. Cody Allen lost this game. He has no wins and three losses now out of the bullpen, and Hansel Robles earned his 17th save of the season with the Angels. The Blue Jays and Cardinals played each other. Interleague Baseball here. The Blue Jays won 9-3. They were helped early by a four-run first inning and a two-run second inning. Hyunjin Ryu earned his seventh save of the season. Jack Flaherty is now split. He's 5-5 five and five in 10 decisions. The Rockies and Diamondbacks played each other. This is an NL West matchup, 6-0 the final score. The Rockies got blanked. The Diamondbacks scored early in the third inning, but then the five runs in the sixth kind of helped them, too, to carry this ball game away. Merrill Kelly got the win, and Antonio Senzatella, his third loss of the season was dealt to him in, after this game. The Braves and Dodgers played each other a close one, 6-5 to five, the final score, and each team got 10 hits. But the Dodgers came back, scored two in the bottom of the ninth inning to win, and that earned Shane Green a loss. Ross Stripling earned the win in this one. And the Padres and Giants, another NL West matchup. 6-4 to four, the final score of this game, and the Padres ended up winning. They got five runs in the third inning, and the Giants were scoring runs. So they scored a run in the first, three in the fourth inning, but Padres scoring five in the third was enough to beat the Giants' entire score. Chris Paddock got the win, Andrew Suarez got the loss, and Kirby Yates is now with 21 saves on the year. Looking at standings now, starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees are 36-25. and 25. They beat the Mariners today. They're still at the top of the AL East. The Blue Jays are second in the AL East, 32-29 is their record. They've won five games in a row, and they've won seven of their last ten games to pool within four of the Yankees. The Rays are 30-32. and 32. They're six and a half games back of the Yankees for first place, and they've lost two in a row, seven of their last ten. The Red Sox have squeaked into fourth place after winning three in a row. They're 29-33, and 33, and the Orioles have lost seven of their last ten games. They're on a four-game losing streak. They're 28-32. And for the first time this year, they're in last place. They're seven and a half games back of the Yankees for first place. And the Orioles were in first in the AL East at the end of April, but are now in last place heading into June. In the American League Central, the Twins still lead. They're 42 and 19. They're on a four game winning streak. They've won eight of their last 10. The White Sox are 38 and 22. They're three and a half games back. They've lost three games in a row. The Indians are 33 and 28. They're nine games back of the Twins for first place. And then the bottom two teams, the Tigers, 23 and 36, they're 18 games back. The Royals, 19 and 41, they're 22 and a half games back. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics are 36 and 25, they're still at the top. The Astros, still in second, 33 and 27 is their record. The Angels have won two games in a row, they're 28 and 31, they're seven games back. The Rangers are 25 and 35, they're 10 and a half games back. And the Mariners are still in last place, they're on a five game losing streak that most recently lost to the Yankees. They're 13 and a half games back in the Athletics for first place. There, here are the American League wildcard standings. You see right now the White Sox and Astros 
are the two teams at the top. The Indians close. They're a half game back, and the Blue Jays still relatively in contention. They're one and a half games back. They had a great month of May, which helped them get back into a playoff kind of race. They're second in the AL East, and they're close to getting that wild card spot. The Indians are in third place in the American League Central, but they're still just a half game back of the wild card. Every other team is four or more games back, not quite in contention at this point. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals are 34 and 25. They still lead the division. The Phillies are 32 and 26. They're one and a half games back. The Marlins are 32 and 28, two and a half games back. The Braves in fourth place, 31 and 30 is their record. They're four games back. And the Mets, the only team with a winning percentage below 500. They're 26 and 33. They're eight games back. And I should clarify, the only team in the National League East with a winning percentage below 500. In the National League Central. The Cardinals are the only team in this division with a winning percentage over 500. they They're still in first place. The Cubs are 30-31. and 31. They've won two games in a row. They beat the Reds today. They're two games back of the Cardinals for first place. The Brewers are in third place with a 28-32 record, three and a half games back. The Reds are 24-36. They've lost two in a row. They're seven and a half games back. And the Pirates are 23-36, still in last place. They're eight games back of the Cardinals for first place. And in the National League West, the Dodgers still lead. They are 41 and 18. They won today. That pushes their winning streak to 10 games now. The Padres won today. They're 36 and 25, six games back of the Dodgers in second place. The Diamondbacks have won two games in a row. They're 31 and 29, 10 and a half games back. The Rockies on a two-game losing streak. They're 24 and 35. They're 17 games back. And the Giants still in last place. They're 24 and 36, 17 and a half games back of the Dodgers for first place. And here are the National League wild card standings. Right now, the Padres are the top wild card team. The Phillies are in second place, but the Phillies still with a legitimate chance of being NL East champions, at least from what it looks like at this point. The Padres are six games back of the Dodgers. The Dodgers have caught some fire. They, they caught fire in the middle of April and just have kept running with it into June. The Marlins are a game back of having a wild card spot. The Diamondbacks two games back. The Braves two and a half games back, and the Cubs three and a half games back. Those are the only realistic teams right now. Not that the other teams don't have a chance, but looking at teams that are close up to this point as of today, those are all the teams you see there up until the Brewers that are in reach of contention for a wild card spot. Starting with batting average leaders in the American League, Miguel Cabrera, 374 average. He stole at the top. Carlos Santana, second best with a 370, and Rafael Devers, third best with a 347. In the National League, David Dahl still at the top with a 367. Ronald Acuna Jr., second best with a 348. And Paul Goldschmidt, third best with a 344. Hits leaders in the American League. DJ LeMahieu has 86. His teammate Miguel Andujar, two behind him with 84. And Miguel Cabrera right on their tails. He's at 83. It's good for third best. In the National League, Jonathan VR has 86. Ronald Acuna Jr. with 78. Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with 76. At bat leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar is at 255. and the National League, Jonathan VR leads with 252 at bats. Doubles leaders in the American League, Anthony Rendon at the top with 25. Jose Abreu is at 23. And there's a four-way tie for third best. Whit Merrifield, Miguel Andujar, Giancarlo Stanton, and Rafael Devers. In the National League, Jonathan VR close to 30. He's at 29. Christian Yelich eight behind him with 21. Brandon Crawford and Trey Turner tied for third best with 19. Triples leaders in the American League, Jose Altuve is at 5, Adalberto Mondesi is at 4, Oscar Mercado, Miles Straw, Whit Merrifield, Nico Goodrum, and Steven Piscotti all tied for third best with 3. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has 7 triples, he leads Victor Robles, Chris Bryant, and Hunter Pence tied for second best, they all have 5 triples on the year. Home run leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson's at 22, Chris Davis is at 21, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is at 20, those are your top three in the AL. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. is at 25, Max Muncy still second best with 18, Paul Goldschmidt third best with 17. RBI leaders in the American League, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. is at 62, Josh Donaldson and Austin Meadows tied for second best still, they each have 54. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt leads with 50 RBIs. Cody Bellinger, second best with 46. Christian Yelich, third best with 45. Run scored leaders in the American League. J.D. Martinez leads with 48 runs scored. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 54 runs scored. He leads the NL. Stolen base leaders in the American League. D. Gordon's at 13. Adalberto Mondesi and Malik Smith are tied for second best with 12 stolen bases. In the National League, Starling Marte has bumped his league lead to 24 now. Jonathan VR second best with 19. Trey Turner third best with 18. 
Walks leaders in the American League, Shinsu Chu, the leader with 38. In the National League, Reese Hoskins is still at 40, and that's good for the league best. On base percentage leaders in the American League, Miguel Cabrera is at 444, Mike Trout's at 433, Carlos Santana's at 432. In the National League, Dan B. Swanson has a 439 on base percentage, close to him, but second best is Paul Goldschmidt with a 439, Ronald Acuna Jr., third best with a 430. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson's at a 693, Chris Davis is at a 661, and Mike Trout, third best with a 659. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., 777 slugging percentage. Christian Yelich at a 658, and Paul Goldschmidt, third best with a 656. On base percentage plus slugging percentage leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson at the top with a 1.108, Mike Trout with a 1.092, and Carlos Santana with a 1.076. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. is at a 1.207, Paul Goldschmidt's at a 1.095, and Christian Yelich is at a 1.086. Moving on to pitcher statistics, wins leaders in the American League, Kenta Maeda is at 8, Hyunjin Ryu's at 7, and there's a long list of players tied with 6, and a long list of players tied with 5. In the National League, Walker Buehler at the top with 9 wins, David Price second best with 7, and there's a huge list of pitchers who have reached 6 wins this season. And there's the list of 5, and it's a sentence from there. Losses leaders in the American League, Kenta Maeda and Mike Miner, they're still undefeated. Masiru Tanaka, Asher Wojciechowski, Dylan Bundy, and Sean Manaya tied for third best. They have lost just one game this season. In the National League, Walker Buehler at the top, he has one loss. And then all those pitchers down there have lost two or more games. Saves leaders in the American League, Brad Hand has reached 22. He's back on top of the AL lead. Liam Hendricks with 21. Nick Anderson, Michael Givens, Brandon Workman, and Roberto Ozuna all tied for third best with 18. In the National League, Giovanni Gallegos has 24. Kenley Jansen and Kirby Yates tied for second best with 21. Earned run average leaders in the American League, Jordan Zimmerman, the only one under two in this league. He's at a 199. In the National League, Walker Bueller is the only one with an earned run average below two. He's at a 149. Home runs allowed among American League pitchers, Gio Gonzalez and Mike Miner have each allowed four home runs. In the National League, Jacob deGrom and Garrett Richards have also allowed four home runs. Shutout leaders in the American League, Garrett Cole and Moss Tanaka still at the top. They've thrown two shutouts this year. In the National League, Jacob deGrom has thrown three shutouts. Zach Wheeler and Walker Bueller still tied for second best with two shutouts thrown this year. Strikeout leaders in the American League, Garrett Cole, after his performance against the Mariners today, has moved his total up to 111. And he leads Lucas Giolito by 21. Lucas Giolito at 90. Carlos Carrasco is at 88. In the National League, Steven Strasburg still at 97, Clayton Kershaw at 95, Hugh Darvish third best with 94. The bleak games thrown among American League pitchers, Garrett Cole and Masahiro Tanaka still at the top with two. In the National League, Jacob deGrom and Zach Wheeler are at three, Aaron Nolan and Walker Bueller tied for third best with two. Innings pitched leaders in the American League, Hyun Jin Ryu is at the top with 87 and two-thirds innings thrown. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw is at the top with 83 and two-thirds innings thrown. Walks allowed among American League pitchers. Carlos Carrasco is at 10. He's the leader. In the National League, it's a two-way tie between Trevor Williams and Brett Anderson. They each have 16. Whip leaders in the American League. Masahiro Tanaka, the only one under one. He's at a .98. In the National League, Clayton Kershaw is right at one. Jacob deGrom and Aaron Nola tied for second best with a 1.03. Pitching war leaders in the American League. Shane Bieber's at a 2.1. Garrett Cole's at a 2, as is Carlos Carrasco. They make up the top three. In the National League, Jacob deGrom's at a 2.4, Hugh Darvish is at a 2.2, and Robbie Ray's right at 2. It's good for third best. Batting war leaders in the American League, Josh Donaldson and Marcus Semien, 1 and 2 on this list. They're at some variation of 4 with their batting war. DJ LeMayhew, third best, with a 3.8. And in the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has passed 5. He's at 5.1 now, and it's not even close for this lead. Christian Yelich, second best, with a 3.9. Jonathan Villar has a 3.3, and Nolan Arenado. Also has a 3.3. They make up the top four on this list. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Monday, June the 1st, 2020. I'm Nicholas Callis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.